All right, welcome to another video and thanks for tuning in. This one is how to solve finite element model or how to create a finite element model that's made up of spring constants using MATLAB. Here the figure below show describes the problem. This problem has four elements, one, two, three, four, and five nodes. There's always one more node than element if you have them drawn like this. Um, the spring constant is given as 200 kilonewtons per meter. And we are asked to find the displacement in the x direction of nodes two, three, four, and two, three, and four. Uh, the displacement of node 5 is given by delta as 20 millimeters and node 1 is fixed since it can't move so the displacement there is 1 and this is for spring elements spring element is a one dimensional element so it only has the dis the displacement in the x direction other elements have uh, more more variables, as we'll see later. So the boundary conditions, as we said earlier, the displacement at 1 is 0 since it's fixed. At 5, it's 20 millimeters that's given. The forces at nodes 2, 3, and 4 are 0, as shown in the figure. And the unknowns are the displacements at nodes 2, 3, and 4, and the force, the reaction force at 1, and the downward force at 5, or it could be upward. It's just drawn as an input force at 5. It's actually going to be left or right. So how do we solve this? The, what we need to do is determine the global stiffness matrix that relates each force to each displacement. Now, no force at node 1 will be unrelated to force to displacements of nodes 3, 4, and 5. So anything, any element with 3, 4, and 5 will be 0 for that case, and so on and so forth. So basically, the only non-zero values of this matrix will be across the diagonal, and where the i and j values are 1 and 2, 2 and 1 and 1 and 2, 2 and 3 and 3 and 2, 3 and 4 and 4 and 3 and 4 and 5 and 5 and 4. All others will be um, 0. Next, I'll show you how to do all of that in MATLAB. Okay, looking at the MATLAB part over here, we're going to clear the screen and clear all variables. And then we define the number of elements to equal zero. Uh, sorry, four. And the number of elements, you remember that the number of nodes is always one greater than the number of elements. So the K or the global stiffness matrix is going to be a five by five if there are four elements. And then we need to create a nested for loop where i goes from 1 to number of elements plus 1, and j goes from 1 to number of elements plus 1 as well. And then we define each element of the uh, k matrix, which is a 5 by 5 matrix. So we need the stiffness value, which is uh, 200, as given in the problem. and any time i and j, the difference between them is 1 in the absolute value, the stiffness matrix uh, element equals negative 200. And then, now I have an else if statement for the ends where i is either 1 or 5 in this case and if j is the same as i then it's just going to equal the positive uh, 200 so
So there, that's the positive 200. Now those last three zeros across the diagonal are equal to two times uh, K, or the stiffness constant, which is gonna be 400. So now we need to define those scenarios using another else if statement, where I is greater than one and I less than the number of elements plus one, and i and j are the same. So this one will be k of ij is equal to 2 times k. And it looks like I uh, am missing an end here, or I didn't properly close one of the else ifs or if statements. Uh, while I fix that, it's a good time to tell you if you enjoy this uh, video or other videos, you can subscribe to my channel. Or if you like this video, just uh, hit that like button. I have a lot of videos on MATLAB, some in Mathematica. I have some uh, SolidWorks tutorials. And I have uh, one so far Autodesk Inventor tutorial. Okay, so I fixed that, and now that's the global stiffness matrix. What I'm going to do is I'm going to copy it into another file and save it. I create a function. So you, to create a function, you have to use the same name. File name has to match the function name. So it's I called it global stiffness spring, and the inputs are going to be little k and n n or the number of elements and since n is defined just in the function I just I can call it whatever I want so I just called it n to make it cleaner and the, here it occurred to me to just use the uh, find replace tool And we'll save this and we'll call it from the main simulation file as a function. And the two inputs of the function are going to be k and the number of elements. And uh, I forgot to use the keyword function at the beginning of this m file, which I do right now. And that returns the K, global stiffness constant. Next, we'll define the um, displacement vector. It's a column vector. But now I need, or actually, let's define first the force vector, or the left-hand side of the equation. So the first and the last uh, values of the force acting at those at node 1 and node 5 are unknown so I use a sims f1 x real and the sims f5 x real and from the boundary conditions we know that f2 f3 and f4 are zero and now the displacement from the boundary conditions we know that u1 x is zero because it's static doesn't move and given and it's given that U5X moves 20 millimeters or 0 0.02 meters. I converted it. And U2, U3, and U4 are unknown. And now we'll put those in a displacement uh, vector, column vector. So the display, the right-hand side is equal to K times the displacement. So you're multiplying a 5 by 5 matrix by a... 5 by 1, 5 rows in one column. And then the force vector, column vector again, is F1, F2, F3, and F4, F4 and F5x. And now we create a for loop to, or we create our equations using a for loop. The equations are going to be 
the right the left hand side equaling the right hand side so the left hand side is simply our force vector and we need two equal signs and the right hand side is going to be the global stiffness matrix times the displacement so there's here are our equations so we'll see them here in the command window so there's equations one through five so now we have five equations and five unknowns we can use matlab's solve uh, feature to solve them but let's create first a, another vector containing all the unknowns which are the displacements at nodes two three and four and the forces at nodes one and five and then the solution is going to be simply using the solve matlab solve tool equations and unknowns and this returns the answer in a structure or a struct fun actually a structure so then we can use uh, MATLAB's VPA function to access all of the values of the structure. And here's your solution. Uh, U2x is 5 millimeters, U3 is 10 millimeters, U4 is 15, and F1x and F5x are negative 1 and 1 kilonewton respectively. And that's it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial of showing how to simply solve for unknown values using a finite element method on spring elements. All right, thank you.